GameStop executive chairman Ryan Cohen debuted his brand Teddy Publishing back in November of 2022. We haven't heard anything new about Teddy for a while now, so I decided to do a little research into what's been going on with Teddy, and it's clear that Ryan has a much bigger plan for this brand than just books. I checked the trademark database and I found eight different filings made by Teddy Holdings LLC. And these filings provide a sneak peek of what's coming. In short, Teddy is not just books. It's a full-on retailer offering anything and everything parents could possibly want for their children. Of course, this includes things like furniture, clothing, footwear, blankets, and dinnerware. It includes educational and entertainment services for children. One of the trademarks covers, quote, providing online publications in the nature of news articles for children. One of the filings mentions, quote, home video game machines. I mean, these filings cover just about everything. One of the filings even covers, quote, provision of an online marketplace for buyers and sellers of downloadable digital art images, music, and videos authenticated by non-fungible tokens. Yeah, these trademark filings cover everything, even a Teddy NFT marketplace. So it's clear Ryan Cohen has a lot planned for Teddy, and it appears that he wants it to be the one-stop shop shopping destination for parents. Now, pay attention to when these filings were made because I don't think it's a coincidence. All of these registrations were filed in August of 2022, and that's also when Ryan sold a stake in Bed Bath & Beyond. Remember when Ryan bought a stake in that company, he submitted a letter to the board suggesting changes, and one of the changes he suggested was selling off the company's Bye Bye Baby brand in order to return more value to shareholders. And we remember what happened, the board rejected Ryan's suggestions and didn't make any of the changes he recommended. So it seems that after this happened, Ryan sold his stake in Bed Bath & Beyond and decided that he would make an even better one. A one-stop retailer for anything and everything parents could possibly want for their kids. I'll talk a bit more about the situation with Bed Bath & Beyond in a moment, but first, let me point out something else I noticed in these filings. Some of the filings have a published for opposition date listed. This means that on the date listed, the trademark enters a period of opposition, allowing any interested parties to speak up if they feel the proposed trademark infringes on their intellectual property. This is like a speak now or forever hold your peace type of moment. This period of opposition usually lasts for 30 days, and that's important because the last published for opposition date in these filings is July 18th, 2023. So if all goes well, then we could hear more news about Teddy 30 days after this date, possibly sometime in mid-August or September. Now, I want to mention something about Bed Bath & Beyond. I made a video yesterday of Overstock CEO Jonathan Johnson speaking about the company's purchase of Bed Bath & Beyond's IP assets. And after making that video, I then noticed that the Bye Bye Baby IP had just recently been won in an auction by Dream On Me Industries. However, that's just for the brand Bye Bye Baby, not for the company's assets. Those assets, including the brick and mortar retail locations, are scheduled to be auctioned on July 7th, so I'm curious to see if Ryan or Teddy Holdings will participate in that auction. So to summarize, everything. Teddy is way more than just books. It's a full-on retailer that aims to be the one-stop destination for parents. And we could potentially get more news about Teddy sometime in August or September if all goes well with these trademark filings period of opposition. And that's it for this video. Please leave a like on this video so we can get this information out to more people. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.